Welcome to our channel my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the hydroboration oxidation mechanism of alkene to form alcohol. So in which it's a specialized mechanism for preparing one degree alcohol. That is what it plays a very important role here. So we have to uh, see the mechanism. Here it is a CH3. So I'm going to take the mechanism like uh, CH3, CH, double bond, CH2 is there. And this is going to be react with borane. So I will be writing this borane as HBH2. As we know that this is the electronegativity. So as we know that the electronegativity of a hydrogen is 2.1. But electronegativity of boron is only 2.0. So this will be formed a slight positive. This will be having slight negative. That is what if the bond is getting break in this fashion. So in this it will be getting negative charge. Am I right? So here what I will be getting this CH3, CH will be getting a positive charge and CH2 minus will be getting. And this is what these minus will go and approach positive. This positive will approach a negative. Now what happened? So I will be getting the product is. So what is that? That is CH3, CH2 with CH2 and BH2. This is the product I will be getting. Am I right? So I will be getting this product and this product which is going to react with another molecule. That is the second molecule. That is CH3, CH double bond, CH2. One more alkene molecule and be getting the same product. What about the product? So here also the electronegativity of a hydrogen and borane you can compare it. So now what happened? This will be this will also be having positive and negative charges. By the way I will be getting the same mechanism will be followed here CH3, CH2, CH2. With that borane is getting attached and one hydrogen is there and CH2, CH2 CH3 is there. Are you able to understand students? So this is very easy one. And this molecule that I am going to take that is CH3, CH2, CH2. This is boron and hydrogen. One hydrogen is there. And CH2, CH2, CH3 is there. Are you able to understand? This is going to react with our third molecule that is CH3. CH double bond CH2. What I'll be getting the product? So I'll be getting a product instead of one hydrogen, one group is getting attached. So by the way, I'll be getting a product like this. So we're able to write this product. So here CH3, CH2, CH2. And here instead of that hydrogen, one more CH2, CH2, and CH3 group is getting attached. Okay. So here also. CH2, CH2 and CH3 group is getting attached. Okay. Now our hydrogen peroxide. The hydrogen peroxide H2O2 that is O H O H. This is going to react with our base. Our base OH minus is there. OH minus we have taken and hydrogen peroxide we have taken. We have taken both OH minus and hydrogen peroxide we have taken. Now these two things can go and react. So this OH minus will pick up this hydrogen because the protonated that is a pro deprotonation will be takes place. So by the way it will eliminate it as water molecule. So here it will be formed HOO minus along with water molecule. Okay, are you able to understand? Uh, now this HOO minus, so here it is getting formed. You know down this. This HOO minus, which is going to react, that is HOO minus, which is going to attack this boron. Boron. Why it is attacking boron? Because it is a electron deficient. That's what it can go and attack the electropositive region. Now what happened? So here. So here what will be getting formed that is CH3, CH2, CH2. Here it is boring. Along with that one thing is getting attached. OOH is getting attached. With that CH2, CH2, CH3. With that I will be getting CH2, CH2, CH3. That I am going to take. Okay. Now what happened? This OH minus will leave off. 
Before that, we need to understand the concept because here a negative charge is existing. Why is negative charge is existing? How can you compare with the compounds like a sodium borohydride? So if suppose if I'm having a borane and hydrogen. So here hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. It will be a neutral compound. There is no problem with that. Now one more hydrogen is added to that. So it forms negative because that only in a plus. So if you compare the compound like NaBH4. Na BH4, so it will be existing like this. That is what this negative charge will be existing here also. It will just like to be in a four bonded compound. That is what here it will be having negative charge. Now this OH minus wants to leave on its own. By the way, it leaves its positive charge. Am I right? OH minus will leave, so it leaves its positive charge. Now this bond is getting bred. This bond is getting bred. Here it will come as Negative or positive? It will be coming as negative. That negative will be going an approach, will form these kind of complex. That is a CH3, CH2, CH2. O is there along with that B. Then CH2, CH2, CH3. Okay. In that boron, one more CH2, CH2, and CH3 is there. Are you able to understand students? Are you able to understand? This is a very very important one. So the cleavage of this bond is very important. That plays a very important role. Now this C alkyl group can be converted into alkoxide group here. This alkyl group can be converted into alkoxide. If you do three more oxidation, two more uh, attack of uh, OOH minus, that time I'll be getting converted into every boron is getting formed as. O R that is O R that is alkoxide. Okay, now this is going to attack. So now this base will come and attack. So uh, other thing the base O H minus the base will come and attack this carbon. Now what happened? Boron. Now what happened? As we know that uh, here uh, it is a very very important thing. Uh, carbon and uh, boron. Is having uh, less electropositive and more electropositive that we know very well. So according to here, boron is a highly uh, electron deficient when compared to hydrogen. If it is compact, if it is a carbon, it is a highly electron deficient. That is what this shift is taking place. And uh, next one is this OH minus will come and attack. By that way, I'll be getting a product. So I'll be go I'll be going to write the product like this. That is. Uh, what kind of product I'll be getting if OH minus attack that is CH3, CH2, then CH2, here it is O and B, one O which is there. Are you able to understand? So by the way, uh, one more negative charge will come up. Okay. Because of the same thing. So what we discussed earlier in NABH4, likewise, fourth bonded carbon which having four bonded uh, bromine sorry not to be bromine borane so uh, will be having negative charge so here also ch2 ch2 and ch3 one more thing here also ch2 ch2 ch3 is there okay that's it next thing is uh, what happened this will leave on its own this will leave on its own by the way which will be forming a product like this what is what is the product now CH3, CH2, CH2, O minus. Okay, because it leaves its, this bond is getting break, it will move as minus, it will move as positive, which is getting utilized. By that way, I'll be getting BOH with that CH2, CH2, CH3. Here also CH2, CH2, CH3. Are you able to understand, students? So here, one more thing is getting formed. Our uh, so if suppose if I am conducting, if I am attacking with the two O H minus, these group will also be converted into this alkoxide, which will follow the same mechanism. I will be getting three alkoxide group like this. Okay. If I am doing one more, that is a O O H minus attack. By the way, I'll be getting what kind of product? That is uh, B. OH, OH and OH along with that along with that two molecules of CH3, CH2, CH2, O minus so totally here 
two molecules here one molecule three molecules of ch3 ch2 co o minus is there so i am going to take uh, as a final conclusion that is ch3 ch2 then ch2 o minus is there okay o minus is there if it is react with water so if it is h o h now this is getting bright so this h plus will come so and to form ch3 ch2 ch2 oh i'll be getting 1 degree alcohol if i am taking these three molecules so this is a two molecule and this is one molecule so totally three molecule if i am taking so if i am reacting with 3 oh the h oh i'll be getting form 3 oh along with that i'll be getting the specialized product what is that h3bo3 that is h3bo3 that is that what is that boric acid i'll be getting formed i think so you understand well so if you have any doubt on that please put it down comment section thank you so much for watching and don't for, forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much thank you once again